Okay, now we're going to discuss the outer planets, which are also called the gas giants or Jovian planets. First, we have Jupiter. Jupiter is the most massive and largest planet in our solar system. Its atmosphere is composed of thick hydrogen and helium, much like the sun, and it has a great red spot. Saturn is our second largest planet. It has a thick atmosphere of hydrogen and helium as well, much like Jupiter and the sun. And this planet is less dense because of the gases in the atmosphere. Saturn is the planet where we can see the rings. And these rings are made up of ice and rock in its own orbit. Uranus. I know you have heard it being called Uranus in the past, but the correct pronunciation is Uranus. Uranus looks blue-green because of the methane in the atmosphere. It rotates in about 17 hours, and it rotates from top to bottom instead of side to side. Um, long ago when Uranus was forming, um, scientists believed that a great big object out in space knocked it over onto its side, which is why it rotates side to side. So instead of it having, so its north and south poles are, would be east and west, mm -hmm. as opposed to all of the other planets, which are right side up. Neptune atmosphere contains visible clouds and storms and more methane to make it a deeper blue than Uranus. Pluto, which we now know is a dwarf planet, is believed to have a solid surface, only one moon, like the Earth, and it revolves around the sun every 248 Earth years because it is so far away. And the reason it is now classified as a dwarf planet is because it does not completely clear its orbit. There are objects in Pluto's orbit that is bigger than Pluto itself. So that is why Pluto is now called a dwarf planet. Remember, take this information and create your own T-chart or web or your own Cornell notes. Any way you want to display this information is up to you, but please make sure that you have information on all the planets, both inner and outer.